his eye open, Zach? Sometimes that one takes a while. But now. My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Jake, did you stomp on grapes? I did not. I did not. I, uh, I went to a winemaking thing, assuming we were going to do some... Dude, the whole thing, it was basically a hoax. I got I got tricked. It's Halloween. The first step of this, like, four-step winemaking class that's a, over a year, and all we did was take leaves out of the grapes, and then it goes in, like, a <laughs> machine. But the stems still go in. So I pulled out like 12 leaves. It's a prank. I got pranked. This is a year long? A year long. Wow. Uh, my weekend was good. Put on a suit for the first time. Same suit that I wore to our friend's wedding that was really, really tight on me. Scared to dance or move. Incredibly loose on me. I've lost some weight. Thanks, Let's Noom. Let's go. Do you think that's going to happen this week? Maybe. No, I don't. Baby it was here. It's here. Need to get it to like here. So it's dropping. You think you're going Halloween? Halloween night, uh, like the movie Jack. Ooh, maybe your baby's spooky. Yes, well, Katie thinks she's That's the dream. A wicked That's Katie's or whatever, dream. yeah. The movie Jack, they deliver the baby in the hospital and it's Halloween and everyone's doing, like all the doctors and nurses are dressed up Halloween. Zach showed it. <laughs> can you take, can you tell me about the sports? Jim, huge sports. The World Series is upon us. Trevor Plouffe's Braves versus Trevor Plouffe's Astros. He had it before the season. We never listened to him. Too sexy. This should be fun. Good for the Braves. Astros, America's team. Christian Yelich. I'm rooting for Trevor Plouffe, which means I'm rooting for the Braves in six. Good baseball? I'm rooting for good baseball, and good I'm, worried baseball. That I'm worried we're not going to get good baseball. Was that almost a breakdown? Mm -mm. Let's tell us about almost a breakdown then. We have a different version of almost a breakdown today. Mike yes. Leach, yeah. known for his cameo in Friday Night Lights, helping Coach Taylor fill up his gas at the gas station, was asked about candy. Answered like a classic fat kid who has a passion. Mm. He has a lot of bullet points here, Jake. I want you to help me break them down. Let's One, get through it together. I completely hate candy corn. I mean, I completely hate candy corn. Kind of the consensus nowadays. I'll That's pop kind three of in my mouth away. every Halloween and be like, ugh, yeah, don't like it. Yeah. But I'll always down to try it again. If you like candy corn... That's like one of your fun facts. If you like candle corn and like you haven't corn. taken a birthday candle out of the cake and then just chewed on the candle, mm. you're not being true to yourself. Next. Gummy bears, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Gotta be airbo. The, the airbo. It's gotta be the airbo ones. And then this is where he loses me. He says, when they used to have sprees in a box, he loved that. Outstanding. Outstanding. He has to go to the dollar store to find them now, but he does. But I do. Nerd clusters are good. Yeah, which is good. I haven't had a nerd's clusters. True story, though. Parents Day, Lake Zurich Middle School South, seventh grade. My classmate's mom worked for uh, Willy Wonka. I had a nerd rope before it hit market. You had a friend's mom work for Willy Wonka. Whatever it is, Wonka Factory. Okay. I mean, it is. a couple different phrases there. Point stands, I had a nerd's rope before it hit market. And that's where he really opens up the conversation, which all candy conversations land in, is gummy versus chocolate. Because you need to divide the two. It's clear that Mike Leach is a gummy man, as he said, Europe has better overall candy than the U.S. And then he says, well, gummy. Because they have gummy everything. Dude, they got gummy everything. <laughs> I'm a gummy guy over a chocolate guy. Yeah. But I like both. Yeah, people. no, it just depends what you're doing. Let's go to more sports. Mm. Two butt stories coming up. Be prepared. Jim, before we get into butt stuff, go download the Noom app. If you heard all that candy talk and you're like, crap, I need to tighten up like Jimmy. I need to look a little better in my suit. Get the Noom app, Better Lifestyle. I'm on it right now. And man, it has everything in there. They quiz you. They change teach you. Life. You learn. You find out a lot about. You set goals. They help you achieve them. They even give you a coach. My new goal is to fit into your suit. You can fit into my suit. I'm bigger than you. Let's go. Tom Brady doesn't like a sweaty butt. Next. So much so that he made his the center stuff a towel, like right. a hand towel, in his pants yeah. and baby powder on that. And he made his center not wear gloves now center's like, my knuckles are fucked up, but I got a Super Bowl ring. Honestly, is that the messed up part here? Because, I mean, a good towel with baby powder on the butt, that's kind of, that's what you do. I'm just glad that Tom Brady gave him a, a solution immediately and wasn't like, I need your butt to sweat less, Ooh, figure that out. Because okay. then he's like, oh my God. Yeah. I'm playing a sport, 300 pounds. Do you think Brady's just 
at this point just pushing buttons to push buttons? Like, I think he's think pushing buttons just to prove this is what it takes. Like, do you think he's asked, like, the left guard, like, hey, keep your butt dry, too, just in case. Just in case. If I put my hands under there. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Center, center gets goes, confusing Center goes out sometime. for injury, and there's yeah. just towel and baby powder down. Who wants it? There you it? go. Who, who, who Pass is it? it. Oh, yeah, the same yeah. guy on the stretcher. You're up. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Didn't like that noise. Do it again. <laughs> Yeah. That's similar. It's better the first time. Around. Do you want to hear the next butt story? Yeah. It's not sports. So apparently. Let me get there. Tattoo artist set ablaze during butt tattoo gas leak. Uh, British size plus model Tracy Munter excited to have the finishing touches applied to her butt tattoo, which is a rendering of the famous chariot race scene from the 1959 film Ben Hur. <laughs> anyway, tattoo artist is smoking a cigarette, tattooing the model's ass, the Ben Hur painter. She farts, <laughs> gas leaks into his cigarette, his cigarette lights up, and, and all that's it's bullshit. I mean, it's great marketing. They got us to know about Ben Hur. Ben Hur is going out of their way to market an old movie. So, Ben Hur, I mean, that's my like. I've heard so many old, old men say how good of a movie that is, that it's got to be a bad movie. Like, it's class. It's Ben-Hur, Charlton Heston's penis. But, yeah, I mean, when you open up and you say British plus-size model, gas leak, Ben-Hur, set on fire, tattoo, like, yeah, like, no. No. No, Jimmy. Apparently his beard caught on fire. They had to go to the ER. Listen to this line. Yeah. Both Tracy and Jason were rushed to the ER where they were treated for minor burns and shock. Hmm. I bet. We all agree. You don't just let it rip in someone's face like that. It's dangerous. I, I've never farted. It's the employee of the week. It's the employee of the week. Played baseball, pitched well. Cy Young, five World Series broadcast games. MVP votes. David Me. Cohn. David Cohn. Congrats. He's got a new podcast on the show. He's got a new podcast on the network. Toe in the slab. In the boogie down Bronx. Toe always makes me think of you in middle school in that hot tub. Sex with a squirrel. <laughs> Dave Cone. What's his middle name? Ice Cream. <laughs> That's for me. Waffle. I don't get it. That was a weekly dumb. Today's episode was brought to you by Noom. Noom is an app that uses a combination of psychology, technology, and human coaching to help everyone meet their personal health and wellness goals. Everything they do at Noom is driven by a singular mission, to help as many people as possible live healthier lives through behavior change. If you're like me and want to build healthy habits and take control of your health, you can get a free Noom evaluation and a seven-day trial when you use our link at noom.com slash johnboy. Once again, click the link in the description to go to noom.com slash johnboy to get a free evaluation and seven-day trial. What is his middle name? Orange. This is some. This is kind of a bad look for us. We should know this. David Daniel. What do you Cone. want it to be? Well, uh, Daniel would be you powerful. Want, you want DDC? Mm, David Charles Cone. You don't know middle name? David Bryan. David Bryan Cone. B R I A N. Yeah. We'll name our kid David Bryan. Yeah. What about Brian David? How many squirrels you killed in a hot tub? <laughs>